It's definitely been an interesting day. I actually started out planning on doing a vlog episode for you guys, and then they announced both the Spotlight event, and then like five minutes later, they announced that the update was gonna be rolled out, and a lot has happened since then. So let's get into all of it. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizard Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. So it's been a few days since I've put out a um, video, and it's because every day I kept thinking they were going to announce the next thing, at least the next event, which the Spotlight Dark Arts event that is coming this weekend is kind of what I was expecting just a little earlier than when they decided to announce it. Um, and then finally today, without still getting news, I said, you know what, I'm going to go out and do a session and go ahead and bring my camera with me. And literally, right before I turned on the camera, I opened up Discord just looking at what's going on in the, in the world of Wizards Unite. And sure enough, they announced the Dark uh, Arts event. So I actually started to make a video about that immediately, kind of changed gears, and didn't go back to Discord and kind of finished that video up, went back to Discord, and I looked, and five minutes after they had announced the Spotlight event, I saw that they had announced that the update was coming out. So then I had to switch gears again. So anyway, kind of scrapped all of that and here we are. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the update, which is version 2.17 and has a couple fixes um, purportedly, I will say to begin with. Um, in general, the first thing we're supposed to fix is the Adventure Sync bug for Android phones. I don't have an Android phone, so I wasn't having any of those problems. And so far looking through Discord, even right up to the point of filming this video and looking at Reddit, I'm seeing mixed reports on some are saying, yes, it has fixed it. Other people are saying, no, they didn't, it didn't fix the issue for them. And I'm not sure there might be more going on because I will say for the update, not only do you need to update, then you do need to download new assets, so that might be affecting it, and then kind of restart everything. Um, other people were reporting they needed to uninstall the game and reinstall the game to get things to work properly. In addition, people are saying that once they've downloaded the new assets, the game's taking up up to like 10 gigs of space, um, or maybe less, but kind of a lot. And after uninstalling and reinstalling the game, they're going down to three point something gigs, meaning really that double assets are being loaded onto people's phones. So if you look on your phone and you have to, it's taking up too much space, you might try uninstalling and reinstalling. Um, I haven't currently bothered with that. I did just download all the assets a little bit ago on home Wi-Fi. By the way, it's a, it's a lot of assets. So I would definitely not use your data, especially if you don't have unlimited. Um, go ahead and make sure you're in a Wi-Fi and make sure it's good Wi-Fi because it, it can take some time. My Wi-Fi at home is decent enough. It only took about a minute or so to get everything down. But if you are having any issues with these bugs that I'm about to talk about not being fixed, I guess I would just say try uninstalling the app and then reinstalling it and logging in. Um, in addition, some people, if your Facebook account is linked to your account and that's your only login method, people have had trouble with that. So do not uninstall and reinstall because you might not even be able to log back in. Um, I would actually say from your current game, just try to link it to something else, like link it to a Google, make a Gmail account, and just link it to that account, and then use that as your login method so that you can uninstall, reinstall, and then use that new method. But before you do that, make sure you establish that you link that account to that. And if you're an Apple user, you can actually link it to your Apple account, so you could do that as well, but just link it to something other than Facebook is the idea. Another thing that's supposed to be fixed is the app freezing when you go into the game from a push notification and I guess some people are having trouble with that. I haven't seen any reports of people saying that has or hasn't been fixed. Um, so I'm not sure if it's a problem for everybody. It's not something that actually made my game freeze, but I'm not sure whose games were being frozen, which what device they were using, which version of that device, that kind of thing. But that's more of a minor one. The other one is iOS purchasing. iOS users, some iOS users, Apple, weren't able to make purchases in the store. Uh, rent cauldrons, just that type of thing. They couldn't make those transactions. And that is supposed to be fixed. And again, I've seen mixed reports of people saying, yes, it's been fixed. I couldn't do it and now I can. And other people saying, it, I couldn't do it and now I still can't do it. And again, I'm not sure if they've uninstalled, reinstalled and kind of, um, or updated the assets and then restarted their game to make sure kind of everything gets reset and then attempted it. Again, if you're having trouble still, maybe try that. I'll, again, I, I can't report one way or the other because I'm seeing mixed reports on 
Reddit, and Discord. In addition, the SOS newsletter has kind of just been bugged and nothing's really been appearing and that, that is supposed to be fixed too. Again, differing reports, people saying yes or no. That is something I could definitely see downloading new assets fixing after a restart of the game. But again, not sure for your particular situation if that was ever a problem or if it's been fixed now for you. And then the last big thing I think is the adversary, being kicked out of an adversary battle, if you didn't do anything for a couple rounds, like if you happen to not do anything and they hit you and then they hit you again, it kind of thought you were having inactivity and it would just boot you out. So that's supposed to be fixed too. It doesn't say anything, and this is something that's happened to me, where you actually are actively fighting an adversary and it just kicks you out. It's almost like you lost connection. That, they don't mention that that bug has been fixed and that is something that happened earlier on with adversaries for me and has not happened in the recent months even since it's come out. The last two events I haven't had that be a problem. And the last minor thing is the SOS training uh, tree. The There was something called Southern Cooking and it was had to do with sponsored inns and they've um, made it so that that doesn't prevent you from going further on. Mainly if you didn't have sponsored inns around you then there was no reason to unlock that node because you it didn't make any sense. You never even had a sponsored in, so people didn't want to use those resources to then go to the things beyond it. Again, that's a minor thing. You can look in your SOS tree um, for Southern Cooking, but it, if you haven't noticed it being an issue yet, then it's probably not an issue for you. It's not been an issue for me because I haven't really ever tried to upgrade a lot of those inns. I have more important things to unlock with those resources before I get to that stuff. So although I'm bringing you some news that this version is out, 2.17, there's still so much up in the air and so many differing reports that I'm really kind of holding off even trying to definitively say anything has been solved or not solved until we really see everybody have the update forced upon them. And once the update's forced and everyone has restarted their game and or reinstalled, is, is the new version working like it's supposed to? So in the next couple days, I'll certainly mention that um, as I'm probably doing the Spotlight Weekend for Dark Arts, which is what I would like to talk about now. First and foremost, this weekend event is like other weekend events. It's gonna go from Friday, March 12th through Monday, March 15th, 11 a.m. Pacific time to 11 a.m. Pacific time. And it mainly just revolves around increased foundable traces spawning on the map, specifically from Dark Arts. I've opened up the registry. It's not all Dark Arts foundables. It's actually specifically the ones on Nocturne Alley, which is the page I'm showing now, and the Fallen Ministry Atrium, and not the Fortress Foundables. It's specifically the ones that aren't Fortress Foundables. So on Nocturne Alley, the Nocturne Alley sign, which I'm clicking on right now, that is a Fortress Foundable. There's no increased chances for that. You would just need to go into Fortress with Dark Arts runestones and just kind of hope to get that. But on this page right here, you still have the, um, the Hag over there in the lower left corner, the Thestral in the middle there, the Executioner, lower right, Portrait of Bellatrix Lestrange, all of those you probably see occasionally, but it's that last one um, kind of upper right, the Swooping Evil, I'll actually click on it. Swooping Evil, it's a severe level. Um, generally, we don't see a lot of these. I don't see a lot of these outside of events that specifically have them going. And the last time there was an event, I got as many as I could. And you can see on this page, I'm green starred on everything except for that Swooping Evil because I just finished, got to gold, and I could only get so many more. So I am hoping to go ahead and green star that during this event because they will appear more often. Down at the Fallen Ministry Atrium, there's only three foundables on this page that appear in the wild. The Magic is Might statue and Tom Riddle Sr.'s grave stone, which are both the upper two ones there. Both of them are fortress foundables, and those two with the Nocturne Alley sign are actually the only three fortress foundables in Dark Arts. So if you run fortresses, you're still going to get the foundables from these pages. When they drop, there's just no guaranteed drops of any kind. But looking at the three foundables that will be appearing more often in the wild, you have Percival Graves, you have Tom Riddle, and you have the Portrait of Voldemort. Those three are going to, I'm actually green start on those, but it'll still be nice to place their images over and over on a silver page. And then on this page, it'll be great to place these images on a gold page just to get me those rank ups, which gets me dark arts trunks, which at least gets me a chance for trace charm recharges and it gets me experience. Um, for those of you that do gold gifts, obviously you'd have more chances for gold gifts by doing this event too. There are no tasks for this event. There's nothing in the shop for this event. No reduced potion times, that kind of thing. Um, it's just really around these foundables themselves just appearing more often. And dark detectors, just so you know, for any event we've done, dark detectors aren't going to produce more of these. So just keep that in mind. 
Tonic for trace detection, it has been confirmed that tonic for trace detection will produce more of these event foundables. It doesn't mean they'll produce only this, but they will have an increased rate when you use a tonic for trace detection. But wait, there is more. So the other thing they added for this event, which I kind of wanted to wait to see if we got any more information, which some more information did come out, is that the challenge experience for adversaries will be increased during this event. Now, very specifically, the very first foe will give you three times challenge experience. So whatever challenge experience you would get from the first foe of that chain, you're gonna get three times that amount. The second foe gets you seven times the challenge experience. And if you beat the third foe, which is really the adversary itself, you're going to get 10 times the challenge experience. So it just gives you a greater chance to get more challenge experience. Now, the first thing I thought of that hadn't been answered yet was, are there going to be more adversaries spawning during the event? Are they actually upping the rates? And the answer to that is no, there will not be increased adversary spawns, just the dark arts. But if you do run into adversaries, you're gonna get extra. And I guess they would be encouraging people to use dark marks during this time if you wanted extra challenge experience from the adversary. For my newer players, if you're wondering why do we need challenge experience, challenge experience is in the challenge part of your registry, it's gonna rank you up there, which gets you the red spell books. And if you need those red spell books, either you're still working on your profession and you need them for things, or in the combat adversary tree, you need them for that. And that's once you've finished a profession, it unlocks that. So some people like me, I still do need some of the red spell books, so I am still trying to get my challenge registry up. But this event, challenge experience from adversaries tends to not be a lot. So even with the multiplier, I, I'll have to look at how much it actually is. And in tomorrow's video, I am going to go out and start looking for adversaries so we can look at some of the actual amounts we're getting from it. But running fortresses, especially running higher level fortresses, is still a more efficient way to get that challenge experience and rank up with spellbooks in addition to the other things you get. Although with adversaries, you get defense against the dark arts books, which again, if you need those, then you would go that route. But just know that adversary spawns are not increased, but when you do encounter them, you are gonna get extra challenge experience. So with the event starting tomorrow, there's not much time for us to prepare for the event, nor do we actually really need to prepare for the event. It is, again, one of these events that just is throwing extra foundables at us, which I'm fine with, no tasks, that type of thing. Although we're used to getting 30 restricted section books a month, 15 and 15, some of us don't need them anymore, but any newer player certainly is wanting those 30 to keep working on their profession tree to be able to finish it out, or SOS nodes that require them. So I'm not sure how the rest of March is gonna work out, and when that information comes out, I'll certainly pass it on to you guys. I do hope Porky's paying attention to the forums and that type of thing, and not just for the people that, you know, maybe be complaining about how things are going and that type of thing is that the emergency event, although you're never gonna get 100% people happy with it, I definitely saw an overwhelming amount of positive responses in both Discord and Reddit to that emergency event. People that enjoyed it. People that are filling out the registry can fill out the registry. People are calling it the gold gift event because they were able to rank up and get so many trunks, they were just getting gold gifts and gold gifts and gold gifts, which, uh, so those, those players were happy. So different types of players being happy with the emergency event. People, of course, there's always gonna be some people that you know didn't enjoy it for whatever reason, but looking at the number of posts that were positive versus negative, they were definitely more positive. So I hope Port Key in the future, even when they are running and they finally aren't working on updates and they're just working on new content for us, realize these are the types of events that we like. Anyway, I hope this video helps you understand what's coming this weekend and why there are Dark Hearts traces appearing more often. In addition, it looks like the update is forced, so you'll have to go get that update. And I hope after you get the update and are downloading those assets in Wi-Fi, you're able to restart and get the game working properly again. Again, I'm on iOS, I've downloaded the assets, I have reloaded the game, and right now it is working correctly for me but again it is just one case just my phone working so I hope yours is working and if it's not working I hope that poor key gets on this and gets everything working smoothly enough that we can play the game at least this weekend as always thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys tomorrow Knox.